Hello friends, this video on data handling part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have discussed about uh, organizing data, representing data, bar graphs, double bar graphs, it is time that we talk about probability. So what exactly is probability? So probability is nothing but the chance of occurrence of any event. Now, let me give you an example. Let's say that you went out for your school. Now, on the midway, you suddenly see heavy clouds in the sky. So what, what do you feel? You think that it might rain. But are you sure that it will rain? No. But you think, looking at the climate, looking at the clouds, you feel that there are chances that it might rain. But nobody is sure whether it will rain or it will not. But it is just about a chance. So there is some amount of chance that it can rain. At the same time, there is some amount of chance that it might not rain. Similarly, when you toss a coin, what happens? What, what could be the result? So after tossing a coin, you might get a head, you might also get a tail. So do you know exactly what will you get? No. So it is like a 50% chance. So there is a 50% chance that you might get a head. There is also a 50% chance that you might get a tail. So it is a matter of chance whether you will get a head or you will get a tail. That is going to be a matter of chance. So these kind of examples are probability. So where you are not sure about the outcome. So there is a possibility of getting one, one outcome. There is also a possibility of getting another outcome. There is also a possibility of a third outcome. So all these possibilities are what we talk about in probability. Think of a, a cricket match going on. Now when the batsman hits the ball, do you know exactly what is it going to be? It could be a 6, it could be a 4, it could be that, it, it could be a 2 or it, it is also possible that the batsman is out. So these are all different possibilities. It could be a 6, could be a 4, could be a 2, could be a out. So these are all different possibilities that can happen as a result of the event. What is the event? Event is nothing but the batsman hitting the ball or the batsman striking the ball. So that's the event and the result of the event could be one of these options. It could be a 6, could be a 4, could be out. So one of these options need to happen. Think of your report card. Let's say that the grade in your report card is A+. So you scored a A+. Now A+, it represents a grade. It doesn't precisely tell you how much was your score. So A plus is like maybe anybody who scores above 80% marks is given a A plus. That means you might have scored 85, you might have scored 89, you might have scored 99 as well. So we are not very sure how much exactly have you scored just by looking at A plus. So here in probability we also talk about all such events whose outcomes are not fixed. Or we can say that we are not sure of their outcomes. Their outcomes could be this, their outcome could also be that. So, you know, there is a possibility that this could happen or that could happen. So that is what is discussed in probability. So what is probability? It is the chances of occurrence of an outcome in any random experiment. So what is random experiment? It, it is basically about anything that we do. So tossing a coin is a random experiment. So when you toss a coin, it is, it is a random thing. I mean, you do not think and then toss a coin. You just toss a coin. So it is a random activity that you do and the outcome of this activity could be one of these. It could be a head, it could be a tail. Now the chances of occurrence of each of these, so the chance that you might get a head is 1 by 2, the chance that you might get a tail is again 1 by 2 and that means both of them have equal chances of occurrence. There is a 50% chance that you will get a head, there is a 50% chance that you will get a tail. So these chances of occurrence of outcome in any random experiment is called probability. So we call the what is the probability of getting a head. So the probability that you will get a head is 1 out of 2 because the total number of possibilities that you can get is 2. 
these are the total two possibilities head and tail similarly the probability of getting a tail is also equal to 1 out of 2 which is nothing but 50 percent chance so this is how we represent the probability of any outcome of an event so this is a brief introduction to probability. Now you might wonder that why suddenly are we talking about probability while we were discussing data handling. Now probability and data handling are very closely related to each other. Now in data handling, we were looking at a set of data. Some of the data were getting repeated quite a number of times and some of the data were not getting repeated. So in probability also, we will see that each of these random experiments, like if you take the example of tossing a coin, you see that if you toss a coin some 10 times, every time you get a different result. Sometimes you get head, sometimes you get tail, sometimes again you get head, sometimes again you get tail and so on. And when you actually look at all the observations that you get once you toss the coin for 10 times, what are you actually doing? You are again dealing with a large number of data. And that is what we had been discussing since that time, data handling. And that's how data handling and probability are very closely related. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.